Yo guys, let me give you a little story. So listen, look, 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 look at this. What the hell, what happened? Wait, watch, look over here. Oh my good, what the fuck? Jab, what did you do? Jab! Listen guys, I was doing a little test run of this thing. I just wanted to make sure it was sealed properly. Everything worked amazing, okay? We had no leaks, despite having like, how many holes do we have in this thing? Like, 12? No leaks anywhere. Only here, which is where we want, obviously, the plumbing. Okay, but listen. I have this hooked up to this tank. And I, look, I'm used to the other reactors. I'm not used to this new stuff. So, I'm used to, we turn this on, we push out all the oxygen in like two seconds. Because that's how long it would take with the other reactor. Every single other reactor. But this large capacity, that wasn't the case, guys. No, not with this large capacity. So, anyway, I digress. We had great vapor formation forming. Every time I turned the thing, the vapor would come up more. And then I was like, you know what? I want to see if that vapor is flammable. So, I took my lighter. I lit it up under here. Boom. Nothing happened. And I was like, okay, sure. And all of a sudden, I heard like a. I was like, what the hell is that? And I saw this thing like shaking, like it was rattling. And then, and then, and I heard like this metal, like I heard, I heard like a. On both sides of the metal. And you could, like, it's like the sound of, like when you like drop a fork on like a, an iron seal, like it sounded metallic. And then all the vapors stopped forming here. And then, like, I was back here. And when it was doing that, like, like this thing, like you could, like it was like an invisible fire under it. Like you could see there was like a fire, but it was invisible. You know what I'm saying? So we, it was like some SpaceX rocket crap that like, went on. And then, I guess after that, the vapors stopped forming. And then I looked over here, and then it was bulged. And then this side was bulged too. Now I'm lucky that it was a minor implosion. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Because it could have. Exploded and, and, and did something to me. It could have also exploded and, and put a big ass hole in this barrel, rendering it useless. It could have also destroyed the glass. It could have also destroyed any of these. It could have basically ruined every this whole project. Just like that one mistake ruined this whole project. And if I had to reload all these waveguides on here, I honestly like. Uh, so, anyways, I learned my lesson, guys. I'm going to push out all the oxygen for now on, like, all of it. I'm going to be extra safe, because I'm not, I didn't, I didn't consider that this 55 gallons has so much oxygen in it, that if there is um, a lot of residual oxygen, a, a real explosion can happen. My other reactors were never that big, so we're like, there was that much oxygen, but this has that much left in it. So, anyways, all the damage is just cosmetic, there's no leaks anywhere, this lid still opens and closes as well so yeah everything is i mean i'm not i'm happy that everything was okay and safe but yeah um damn oh my goodness man i did it again guys i made the same mistake again but this time it was even worse okay don't mind the rain this happened yesterday but anyways look pyrolysis gas here i pumped it in here and i thought that i pumped enough in there because like i could feel it coming out this side but i guess that could have just been oxygen being pushed up. Like, I, I, listen, I am not used to this large of a capacity, so I pumped in this for like 20 seconds. So this atmosphere was absolutely brimmed full of just flammable pyrolysis gas, right? And, and then, you know, the lid was on all that type of stuff. And I turned it on. As soon as I turned it on, it did boom! Like, like, bro, it sounded like a cannon. It sounded like... We were back in, in the Revolutionary War. Like, it was crazy. And, and like, I saw, like, a, a giant flame come shooting out from this thing. And, man, like, <laughs> everybody in my house heard it. I'm sure everybody in my neighborhood heard it. Like, that thing was loud. And, like, for me, I wasn't expecting it to explode. So I got freaked out. I was like, what in the world? And then I saw the lid. It just went, shoom, like, it went flying all the way to Asgard. And I couldn't find the damn lid for 30 minutes because it flew halfway across the whole backyard. Here's what happened to it. <laughs> Look at it. It was 
looks like a Pringle, doesn't it, mate? <laughs> oh my goodness, mate. Honestly. So, but listen, guys. Here's the good thing. I can just get a new lid, right? I'm lucky. There's no damage anywhere else on the reactor. Anywhere else. Except for that. But that was earlier, right? But no holes, nothing. Just the lid. I can get a new lid. Okay. Hey. That's okay. But, dude. I've never had a reactor explode, I've never had a reactor blow up, but this was the first one, and it's because of my ignorance. Maybe, hey, maybe the pyrolysis gas is not heavy enough to push out the oxygen properly, or maybe, well clearly I'm just not getting all the oxygen out, so I need to pump a lot more in. You guys tell me, I mean, let me tell you guys, I know you're like, put a pressure release valve on here and that won't happen, but this is the biggest pressure release valve you can get, this is literally just an open pipe, like, the gases can just come right out here, like, you know what I'm saying? It was just so much pressure that built up in there at one time, it just had to get out anywhere. So that's why I'm saying it's lucky, I'm lucky it didn't crack the glass, I'm lucky it didn't blow up this actual container, it just was the lid. But still, like, that thing scared the hell out of me, I didn't expect it to goddamn blow up. Like, goodness gracious. Anyways, yeah, so... To anybody, like, saying, like, you want to see it run, well, we gotta wait a little bit, but I, in the meantime... I do have this plumbing system. I did build these stands, these vice clamp stands. So I mean, we're we're getting we're getting this going. You know, I'm almost done with this. Like these are the steel wool filters, and I'm gonna have like I'm gonna modify a a, a fire extinguisher, a pr former fire extinguisher to be like the collection tank, and then we're just gonna have a third filter with the activated carbon in it. I don't think I'm gonna have a water bubbler. Um, and then, yeah, I mean. The plumbing will be done. I just got the electricians to, to install 50 amp circuits, so I'll get that electricity stuff done. But I mean, other than that, goodness gracious, man. As long as we don't blow this thing up again, I mean, I think we'll be in good standing terms. But <laughs> hey, you guys tell me, right? You guys tell me.